Hi guys, I'm here with another haul video. Um, I guess it's kind of a cumulative of what I've gotten through the week. Um, I guess I'll start off with Michael's since it's the smallest. At Michael's, I found this Martha Stewart glitter. I took it out of the packaging already, and it was 97 cents. And it's so pretty. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a watery type blue. Um, it's called turquoise. Well, it fits. <laughs> and then I also got this, which I couldn't believe. It's a stamp around the page um, from Martha Stewart also. It's kind of got flowers. Um, and the name is Flower Box. And it was marked down to Four ninety nine. I got it for five bucks. These things are ex usually expensive. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm kind of excited to. And that was all I got from Michaels. Not too much there. Um, then at Hobby Lobby, I went on Saturday and was checking out their clearance. I got this for five dollars. The stamp set. That's pretty cute. It's kind of like a spring type stamp set here. And this is by Stampology. Which I thought was pretty good. That's five dollars. Um then I also found these. It wasn't a package of them together for two bucks. But I thought they were super cute, so they're like pink, but they're not extra fine, kind of more like chunky glitter, but I don't know, they're pretty. <laughs> and then I also got, um, I found this color pigment, and I used a coupon for it. I'm going to try that, but I also found... Um, in the cake decorating aisle, um, some, like, food color in white. So I'm going to try that also because this is a cheaper buy and see if that works better with, um, well, equal to the pigment for resin. And that was a dollar forty nine, whereas this bottle was six six forty seven. But I used my coupon, so I came out to three twenty something. Mm. Then I also had my daughter with me, so she bought me the stamp with her coupon, <laughs> and I thought that was super cute, Little Mermaid fishies. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. Then from Joann's, I got a ton of stuff. <laughs> um, let's start with the glittery. I found glitter in the clearance section for 50 cents for a tube. And this one is in light blue. And it's really pretty. And so I just got what was left and there was only two of those and then I also got this other glitter it's kind of holographic um, and this color is blue pixie and like I said it's holographic looks more silver than blue, but whatever. You can never have enough glitter, right? So I got more of those. They only had three, so picked up all of those. And then, let's see. I found some ribbons that were marked down to 50 cents. All of these. Super cute. 
my mother says I'm a craftaholic, so <laughs> that explains all this mess that I end up getting. Um, I also got a ton of scribbles paint because some of the colors were marked down to 25 cents, so go check out Joann's. And this one is in um, holiday green. I got one of those. And then shiny evergreen. And then seafoam green. I ended up getting two of those because they kind of have that pearlescent look. And I use those a lot. Um, then I have delicate rose. I'm sorry about the glare, guys. I got two of those. Then I also got golden blue. And watermelon. Kind of my favorite color. Hence, I painted my Hello Kitty organizer thing. And I have another organizer over here. I painted those in the watermelon color, so. Um, then, so I got three of those. <laughs> and then I also got the butterscotch caramel color. I figured I could use this on my clay also. And blue iris. And these got to have been the best buy. They were so awesome. They're orange and yellow. But what I didn't notice when I was in the store and I brought them home, I turned off the light and they were glowing in the dark. <laughs> They're so awesome. And I used this on one of my resin pieces. I'll show you right now in a little bit. So those were all 25 cents each. Great buys. They're usually about a dollar, dollar twenty. If you look at like Michaels or other stores like that. Um, I also found these for ninety-seven cents, which is a good buy for these also in petal pink. So I got two. Um, can't get the other one out, but. I got two of these, and I use these in resin. I've, I don't know, I'm kind of not a fan of this color. I thought it would be lighter, but it came out more of like a rosy pink. Um, let me show you. This is one of the pieces I got. I, I use this dye. E Whoa, sorry. Oops, upside down. It's kind of like a, a darker reddish pink. I'm not too much of a fan of this color, but... Oh well. <laughs> For 97 cents, it'll work. Then I also found this tacky glue for 50 cents, and it's a pretty big bottle. Um, it's 4 ounces for 50 cents. Not bad. You can never have enough glue. Something's always bound to break. That's what I found out when I had kids. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much all I bought this week. Um, and let me go ahead and show you some of the pieces that I've been working on with resin. Some of them aren't finished yet. Like, let's start with those. I have this Hello Kitty. I used flocking powder in this this one, and it kind of came out like really light, so I think I'm going to have to do a back of white. That way you can't see through it because, see, you can see my finger. Um, I did a few bows. This one's blue. They're not glazed yet, so they kind of have like a foggy tint to them. Um, I did some flowers, mm, and a bow, 
and little piggy. I haven't painted his face on, so he's not finished yet. And a Hello Kitty. Oops. She's not finished yet either. <laughs> and then let me see here. Um, some of my work in progress. Okay. Let me show you a finished one first. I love Care Bears, so Grumpy is my favorite Care Bear. So I made a Grumpy Care Bear, except he's happy here. So <laughs> I only had a mold for Happy Bears, so Grumpy is happy, but whatever. And then I was going to do Friend Bear in orange. I haven't finished him yet, them yet, but... I have three here of friend bear, and I plan on doing like the whole gang, but yeah, those are friend bear in progress and grumpy. I love care bears ever since they came out. <laughs> My mommy will tell you, and then I also did this little skull, and the bow is glow in the dark with those um, scribble paints that I got. Let me see if I can turn the light off and it'll show you. See, it glows. <laughs> okay, now, um, sorry. Sorry about that, okay. And um, I did this bow, it's white and it has glitter in it. it kind of looks, grayish though because of the glitter. Oops, sorry. Just dropping everything today. And I did this Hello Kitty. And it's got a metallic purple bow. And I did the back purple also. But it kind of made her have like an outline of purpley glow. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, but I don't know. I was all about the purple metallic paint this time, so I also did this Hello Kitty. Like I said, purple metallic paint. I was all about it this week. <laughs> I thought she came out pretty cool, and then she's kind of got glitter in her um, white. And I used flocking powder, so that's why it didn't come out like a crisp white. But I thought it came out all right. And this has to be my most favorite, um, favorite um, I guess you would call it a cabochon, since it doesn't have a hook or anything on it. And there it is. Isn't it cute? Like, I don't toot my own horn, but... This one I'm super proud of. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell the coloring because the lighting is bad in here, but I thought it was super, super cute. It's like an orange creamsicle, and it has glitter in it, and the white ice cream part, and the little brown stick. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Probably my favorite so far that I've made. And that's pretty much what I've been doing this week. So thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you think of them. Bye.